Okay, so let's talk some basic functions. The obvious on off button and then the first button the one with the little one dot on it is false color it gives you the ability to kind of gauge your exposure second one is for LUTs that means you put up uh, lookup tables on there and so you can see what it'll look like after the fact and the third buttons for a frame guide so that you can tell whether you're doing 69 or something more exotic the wheel is for moving up and down on values on different settings in the back of the camera. The record button is obviously the record button and there's even a little snapshot button for taking stills. And here's a mount for the EF and a quarter 20 mount on top with some vents for venting obviously. Keep it nice and cool. And now let's talk about those ND filters. Up and down, you got three different settings, and uh, the plus and minuses obviously do just that. They plus and minus the ND filters. They're beautiful, wonderful things. And I mean that when we're traveling, I absolutely rely on the daggone things. That and with my lens that is my dear departed one, the 24 to 105 top button right there is a aperture button an auto aperture button it actually sucks don't touch it the bottom button is a auto focus button it's awesome touch it all the time look for the blue or the green or whatever you have your auto focus peeking at all right so the top button right here is the high frame rate button if you want to switch between 50 frames a second to 24 frames a second that's the button for you you have to set it up in your menu the second button down is a zoom button it'll zoom in two times this is obviously to help you with your focus the third button down is for your menu and all of your menu items and everything that that entails the fourth button down is to play things that means playback all kinds of stuff that you've recorded obviously <laughs> all right time for some input and output okay the first little flap up at the top has headphones and a microphone and behind that microphone is a little eighth inch jack for a microphone and a little eighth inch jack for a headphone very convenient in the field especially when you're trying to check out so a specific microphone that you're plugging in you want to make sure that you're getting the inputs whether it be down at the bottom with the XLRs or even the internal microphones so it really works out second is your HDMI real simple cut to the point perfect little spot for it right between the uh, microphones and all the other IO and right under that is your USB-C your two XLR ports and obviously your little 12 volt I think it's called DTAP <laughs> I might be wrong on that but it is a perfect little camera because you can plug in those two microphones and they can be two separate microphones talking to two separate people and it's brilliant I just love it obviously it's an EF mount right there in the front be able to put that beautiful young yo lens on there and then on the bottom you have another vent and two quarter 20s and a place for the battery right on the left hand side and there is the port for the battery grip which is very important that's what that little port is right to the left of those quarter 20s they are for the battery grip which we will talk about in a different video speaking of grip this is a very kind of sturdy camera i mean i really when i'm holding on to it i really feel like i can just kind of walk around with it especially with the battery grip on it i can shake it and move it and do all those kind of things and it really does feel very secure in my hand now as you can see as you pop out that little thing you've got a little slot for sd cards and cfast cards those cfast cards is exactly what i really want but the sd card is good in a pinch my biggest problem with the cfast card is that it's so daggone expensive but it's worth it because you if you're traveling it's really a small little compact setup with the camera and no nd filters and no anything all you're doing is running around paris with this camera looking like a 
It's a big old digital SLR. Now, let's talk about that flip out screen, which is so bright. It is literally, I mean, I really enjoyed using it on vacation and it works from so many different angles and if you have a monopod with you you can kind of get set the monopod up really high and then flip it down like that and look right up at it and i'm telling you you can get some pretty majestic pitches with a wide angle lens and it's just a really nice perfectly set together little unit especially with the way that flips i really love it but most of all, I really love the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro by Blackmagic Design. They have really outdone themselves this time, improving on from the tilting screens to the ND filters to every single thing that they've done. It has been totally cool. Well, that's that for that, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Ekel O'Harrod. I want you to go out there and shoot something with something that you've got. The thing that I've got is that Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, and I'm going to love it. And I want you to do the same thing. I want you to go out there and love the camera that you're with. My name's Ekel O'Hara. Like, subscribe, use one of those things that they call notification bells to get information when I'm going to be posting. I hope to see you soon here on Ekelo Photo. Photo.